Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Let's do a quick video using Shotcut. I'm going to show you how to do quick and dirty edits, nothing fancy. Uh, I'm not even going to open a project here. And let's go ahead and close that. Don't need that. Open file. And it's on the desktop. So let's see. It should be that one. There it is. 91.3. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to whack this out to good. Click OK. And I guess it's going to go onto the desktop. All right, fine. Um, and it's doing something over here. It's converting it to MKV, which is a higher quality whatever. So let's go ahead and... Pause this video for a moment. And we're back. So uh, I've got the video here. <clears throat> I'm going to drag it down into my timeline. There it is. Let's uh, roll. I'm using the control key and the scroll button or the scroll wheel on the mouse to adjust the total length of the timeline just like that and what's next so um <clears throat> frankly the scrub is uh is not very good at least on my computer uh for whatever reason it's just not very good um and you can see that I, for this video, I gave myself a little timer so that I know when the video starts. And if I play, it's, where's the play button? There's the play button. I should actually be able to hit the space bar. There it is. All right, so now that's where I want to start the video. I'm going to hit S to, uh, to trim or to split. S to split, and then I'm going to whack this out all the way to the end and find where's the end. And let's listen to the end. That's it, no bread. We don't need anything else. Thanks for watching and happy baking. And there it is. So I hit the S key again. And now I split it. So you can see here it's not highlighted. There it is not highlighted. And I'm going to I'm going to open up the playlist here. Control C. And then I'm going to hit this the plus button here. Now that should add this video, which is about three minutes fifty seconds or so. So let's go ahead and actually see if there's properties here. Uh, does it give me the properties of the clip? Four minutes, 27, which is the entire clip. Does it give me the length of this clip here? It doesn't look like it. So, all right, I'm going to select it, control C and then click here. And now you can see that I've got a, well, it didn't include the start time, but the in is about right, 15 seconds. And the out on this side says it's 426, and here it's 4. So I was about right. I was pretty close. And now here comes the fun part. So I'm going to export. Let's close this. I'm going to export the playlist, all right? Export. I'm going to choose YouTube, not from timeline, from the playlist, and export file. And now let's give it a, a clever name. Click save. And in a moment, it should start working. And you can see on the right hand side, the job, quote unquote, job has begun. And it's going to take a while, uh, four minutes, four and a half minutes. That's way too long. Uh, let's take a look at why. 
I'm going to open up a new terminal, Control Shift N, and let's go with uh, Bash Top. See what Bash Top has to say. And all right, my CPU is totally th floored. Um, I'm at 100%, and shot cut is the big part of that. Memory is actually not that high, considering, but my CPU is totally floored. This is an old i5-2500. I, I know it's an old machine, but it works, right? Uh, that being said, uh, Shotcut has worked out pretty well for me. I'm using uh, Shotcut 21.01.29. All right, I won't uh, bore you anymore with the waiting for Shotcut to finish. So thanks for watching and happy computing.